Hey guys, I did some battery testing and I found some interesting things that I want to go over with you. Um, there were some issues that I ran into, perhaps it was user error, but very odd things happening with this G7. Um, so let's go ahead and dig right in. Okay, so for reference here, I run Furmark. Um, if, you, if you're not familiar, Furmark is basically it just runs the hell out of the GPU. Um, so this was ran plugged in, so we could see that the GPU usage is pretty much 100% across the board. Um, I believe towards the end, the maximum uh, heat that we see is roughly in the 65 Celsius range, which this is where Max-Q is doing its job because that's a very respectable temperature to be under full load. Okay, here we're going to see the CPU test where it's running all 12 cores at maximum. Um, if you look at the chart on the right, we are averaging in the 70 degrees Celsius range, which is perfectly fine, but we are experiencing thermal throttling, um, which is the nature of the beast when you're running all 12 cores at maximum on a laptop. Again, Max-Q doing its job um, between the CPU and the graphics card. You know, we rarely ever see over 70 degrees Celsius. Um, the other important thing to note here is you, we are getting thermal throttling, um, but I believe that's just kind of par for the course, again, on a, you know, compact gaming laptop. So here's where things get very interesting. I went ahead and decided to do a battery test. So the video you're seeing is on battery only. Um, when I would play games, I would get terrible frame rates, so I thought maybe it was using the onboard graphics instead of the NVIDIA. And I went and I saw that it was indeed using the NVIDIA, but I was getting so much lag, it was just, I mean, games were unplayable, right? So I go in and I find that it's thermal throttling the CPU. Um, I don't even know if it's thermal throttling, it's just throttling it to around 1 gigahertz to 1.5 gigahertz, and it just made the entire thing unplayable. I went into power settings, I changed anything and everything that I could to tell it to use maximum performance while on battery, and no matter what I did, it still throttled, you know, between that 1.0 and 1.5, which is completely unacceptable. I did end up getting around two and a half hours on battery life, but at one point, you know, 1.0 to 1.5 on the CPU, which made games pretty much unplayable anyways. So that two and a half hours was worthless. Um, maybe if I was just doing some spreadsheet or, you know, web viewing, it'd be fine. But as far as gaming, it just did not work. Okay, this is important. I have tried every power saving option to set everything to maximum performance, whether it be the GPU, the CPU, advanced power settings, I'm telling it to use more, the maximum of everything, right? And I think the limitation is the CPU. When it's not plugged in, look, I'm getting 37, oh, sorry, you probably can't read that. Um, 37 frames in PUBG, and that's because I'm not moving, it's usually around 20. But check this out. Power cable's unplugged. CPU is right around, it's in the low like 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. 1 okay, plug this in. Watch what happens. Boom, three gigahertz, everything changes. Unplug. Boom, one gigahertz. So, I mean, I'm at a loss. I don't know if there's a setting I miss, but you know, I consider myself to be very fluent in Windows and you know, setting up power profiles, etc. But I cannot figure out a way to get the CPU to stop throttling on battery. Um, this is a huge deal. Maybe I'm missing something. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, I'll be happy to try them. 
but for right now, gaming on battery on this thing is just horrible. Hit me up, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. Thanks, guys.